I'm Don Pettit. I'm a NASA astronaut, and I'm on the International Space Station. I'd go to the moon in a nanosecond. Uh, the problem is we don't have the technology to do that anymore. We used to, but we uh, destroyed that technology, and uh, it's a painful process to build it back again. My name is Kelly Smith, and I work on navigation and guidance for Orion. As we get further away from Earth, we'll pass through the Van Allen belts, an area of dangerous radiation. Radiation like this could harm the guidance systems, onboard computers, or other electronics on Orion. Naturally, we have to pass through this danger zone twice, once up and once back. But Orion has protection. Shielding will be put to the test as the vehicle cuts through the waves of radiation. Sensors aboard will record radiation levels for scientists to study. We must solve these challenges before we send people through this region of space. Uh, the problem is we don't have the technology to do that anymore. We used to, but we uh, destroyed that technology. The kinds of technologies that we're testing out on Space Station are definitely helping us with our goals of going beyond low Earth orbit. So we have a really robust exploration program at NASA. We're also really pushing the boundaries in terms of where we're going forward with exploration. I think uh, humans are naturally driven to do this. And this is really the beginning, I think, of human beings leaving low Earth orbit. I certainly plan on being around to see that. The plan that NASA has is to build a rocket called SLS, which is a heavy lift rocket. It's something that is that is much bigger than what we have today, and it will be able to launch the Orion capsule with humans on board, as well as uh, landers or other uh, components to, via, to destinations beyond Earth orbit. Right now, we only can fly in Earth orbit. That's the farthest that we can go, and this new system that we're building is going to allow us to go beyond and hopefully take humans into the solar system to explore. So the moon, Mars, asteroids, there's a lot of destinations that we could go to, and we're building these building block components in order to allow us to do that eventually. Once we, once we travel beyond low Earth orbit, the crew will be exposed to larger amounts of radiation. So we have to design both the crew protection systems and our electronic systems to withstand this radiation. Um, Early in the next decade, a set of crewed flights will test and prove the systems required for exploration beyond low Earth orbit. Uh, the problem is we don't have the technology to do that anymore. We used to, but we uh, destroyed that technology and uh, it's a painful process to build it back again.